Guardian of the Sacred, Nur ad-Din Zangi's Divine Mission. The grave of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, holds a revered place in the hearts of Muslims around the world. It is a symbol of faith, devotion, and the enduring legacy of the man who brought the message of Islam to humanity. The story of an audacious attempt to desecrate this sacred resting place is one that evokes deep emotions and underscores the unbreakable bond between the Prophet and his followers. In the annals of Islamic history, there is a chilling account of a group of Christian raiders from Europe who plotted to exhume the Prophet's grave. These men were driven by the belief that stealing the Prophet's body would deal a devastating blow to the Muslim world. Their scheme, shrouded in deceit and masquerade, led them to Medina, the city that had been a sanctuary for the Prophet and his followers centuries earlier. Disguised as pilgrims, these raiders infiltrated Medina with meticulous planning. They performed the rituals, mingled with the believers, and quietly laid out their sinister plans. It was a time when trust and hospitality were extended generously to those who came to the Prophet's city, making it easier for these impostors to blend in. Their objective was not just a sacrilegious act, but a calculated attempt to strike at the very heart of Islam. The Muslim world at that time was under the rule of Nur ad-Din Zangi, a just and pious leader known for his devotion to Islam and his unwavering commitment to the well-being of his people. Nur ad-Din, also known as Nuruddin, ruled from 1146 to 1174 CE, and his reign was marked by efforts to consolidate and defend Muslim territories against external threats, particularly from the Crusaders. The account of how Nur ad-Din Zangi came to know of the impending desecration is one steeped in the mysticism and spirituality that often accompanies tales of divine intervention. It is said that Nur ad-Din had a dream, not once, but thrice, in which he saw the Prophet Muhammad pointing towards Medina and imploring, Save me from these two individuals. The dreams were vivid and disturbing prompting Nur ad-Din to seek counsel from his closest advisor, who was well-versed in religious matters and dream interpretation. The advisor's interpretation was unequivocal. The dreams were a divine warning. Someone was indeed plotting against the sanctity of the Prophet's grave. Nur ad-Din, a man of action and deep faith, did not hesitate. He gathered his forces and set out for Medina with a sense of urgency that left no room for doubt or delay. Upon reaching Medina, Nur ad-Din and his entourage did not immediately reveal their purpose. Instead, they observed the city's activities discreetly, looking for any signs of suspicious behavior. The raiders, still unaware that their plan had been uncovered, continued their clandestine operations. Nur ad-Din's vigilance paid off when the culprits were eventually identified. They were apprehended and, under interrogation, confessed to their nefarious intentions. The capture of the raiders was a moment of profound relief and gratitude for the people of Medina and the broader Muslim community. It reaffirmed their belief that the Prophet's resting place was under divine protection. Nur ad-Din Zangi, recognizing the gravity of the situation and the need to prevent any future attempts, took decisive and lasting action. He ordered the construction of a deep trench around the Prophet's grave. This trench was then filled with molten lead, creating an impenetrable barrier that would thwart any future efforts to reach the sacred site. This measure, both practical and symbolic, served as a testament to the lengths Muslims would go to protect the legacy of their beloved Prophet. The impact of this event on the Islamic world was profound. It was more than just an episode of thwarted sacrilege. It was a powerful reminder of the deep spiritual connection Muslims have with the Prophet Muhammad. The incident reinforced the sanctity of the Prophet's grave and the unwavering commitment of the Muslim community to safeguard it. For Nur ad-Din Zangi, the episode cemented his legacy as a ruler who was not only a skilled military leader, but also a devout guardian of Islamic faith and heritage. His prompt and effective response to the threat was celebrated and remembered by generations of Muslims. 
the trench filled with molten lead became a lasting symbol of his dedication to protecting the Prophet's final resting place. The story also served to heighten vigilance among Muslims regarding the protection of their sacred sites. Security measures around significant Islamic landmarks were intensified, and the community became more aware of the potential threats posed by those who sought to harm their religious heritage. This increased vigilance helped ensure that such attempts would be less likely to succeed in the future. The legacy of this event continues to inspire Muslims today. It underscores the importance of faith, unity, and the willingness to defend what is sacred. The bond between Muslims and the Prophet Muhammad is not merely historical. It is a living, breathing connection that influences their daily lives and spiritual practices. The attempted desecration and the response it elicited are powerful reminders of this bond. In the grand tapestry of Islamic history, the story of the attempted grave robbery and its thwarting by Nur ad-Din Zangi stands out as a beacon of faith and resilience. It is a tale that resonates with the core values of Islam, devotion, protection of the sacred, and unwavering faith in divine guidance. It reminds Muslims that, even in the face of adversity, their connection to the Prophet and his teachings remains a source of strength and inspiration. As we reflect on this historical event, we are reminded of the enduring power of faith and the collective resolve of a community to protect its most cherished beliefs. The actions of Nur ad-Din Zangi and the divine intervention that guided him serve as a testament to the profound relationship between the Prophet Muhammad and his followers. It is a relationship built on love, respect, and an unwavering commitment to preserving the sanctity of Islam's holiest sites. This story, with its emotional depth and inspiring conclusion, continues to resonate with Muslims around the world, reinforcing their faith and their dedication to upholding the legacy of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him.